<laughs> and some mandates. That's a good man, ain't it? <laughs> Putin warns West he isn't bluffing, and Russia has lots of weapons as he orders partial mobilization to reserve uh, reserve troops to Ukraine. Putin, keep playing your part. So, <laughs> so Putin has mobilized three hundred thousand reserve soldiers to go uh, to the border or to go to uh, the Ukraine. But here's a difference that's about to happen in Ukraine. All right. Um, U.S. has sent private war- warnings to Russia against using a nuclear weapon. I don't think nobody talked about the fact that we've seen the word nuclear war for the past six months and no one cares. The media just, just, and the government don't talk about nuclear war. It's not a good thing. You don't want to talk about that. When it just isn't that real media, for some people. Huh? It just ain't real for some people. Yeah, they're barely talking about it. Like, uh, Putin keeps saying, look, man, if y'all attack Russia, nuclear weapons are an option. Mother Russia. And it's just like, they just keep doing what they're doing and no one's really challenging. Like, yo, chill out. <laughs> chill out. You know, we got so many people in America that's like, nah, I still got to uh, rule my uh, last couple of years. You're not going to take it from me. So. <laughs> Putin announces, oh, we saying, Putin announced a partial mobilization, assures Russia security and nationwide address. In this address, he also pointed out the new territory that they're claiming. Uh now, this is a big deal because they're changing their border. Russia now has a bigger country. DPR, FPR, liberated zone of, can't say that word, uh, Kherson regions embark on referia, referendum vote. The same way Crimea had a vote a couple years ago where they voted democratically, whether or not you think it was, you know, up and on, up and on, up and up and not, they voted to be a part of Russia, Crimea. This, they're now doing that with more liberated zones, as they call them. This is TASS. This is a Russian uh, news uh, outlet. They're now having more referendum votes in the west part of Ukraine. Well, these countries are being, or these cities, should I say, are being told to vote to be a part of Russia. Now, you see these red and yellow. That's the places that are having their votes going on. This, uh, when, uh, when Ukraine had their, uh, what they call it, offensive, uh, counter-offensive, where they took some land back, and everybody was looking at Russia like, you look kind of crazy. You lost some land to Ukraine. You're supposed to be the big, bad Russia. Well, Vladimir Putin said the reason why we went back, we wanted to see how Russian, I'm sorry, how NATO weapons work. And some people think that they were dropping back to these regions so that when the vote happened, the new red line is no longer the normal Russian border. It's now this. So now anything Ukraine do to this land is going to be considered attacking Russia. Yeah. So if they attack this, it can lead to Russia just saying all-out offensive against Ukraine. Because they could say, you are directly attacking Russian territory. You have committed a crime, act of war. So let's go ahead and send those, you know, 600,000 more soldiers there. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of you in about two weeks. Do you think it's possible they'll use nuclear weapons? Or is this all just a play? Because this Right now, I'm going to say a play. This is this happening is going to cause more food shortages and stuff like that. It's going to affect. It's going to be a. This is going to cause an effect towards the global economy for the next decade at least. Even if they even if they saw what happened the last six months now, if they come up tomorrow with a treaty and get it together for the next ten years, this is going to have an effect on the global economy. And we know that they're trying to change the economy to another currency. Make sure you get some rice. Oh yeah, I and got beans. rice. <laughs> rice and beans, it'll stick to you. He said, "I got rice." Don't um, get no fat back in. Um... Uh, House of Cards was the Clintons too. See, that's that's, that's a better that's, comparison. That is a better comparison. That's a better Bill comparison. Bill and Hillary, because they they got the you know the body. <laughs> we don't know about Trumps. We know about the Clintons. That is a better comparison. That's a way better comparison. Oh, my God, and no disrespect because they ain't uh, bothering nobody but Target downtown really just seems like a third world country now. Huh? She said Target downtown like a third Regina? world country. Yeah. Hey, it's like, it's a, it's like another world. It's a different world. It's a different Let me stop. It, I mean, <laughs> you got to ready to throw hands when you go downtown. Oh, it's dangerous. Uh, we don't talk about the stuff they have around this uh, place often. <laughs> Well, people get shot. people get shot. People get shot in north on the north end on a a, a horror. They, yeah, 
There was a um shooting by the bus stop where a man rode up on two people, blasted them, and drove off. That was on a horror. Yeah. So, yeah, she get crazy. Oh, she saw. She heard me say, "I might stop by the down." I did say, "I don't know if the one in Northgate is still open or not." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man made end seems to me like God. Man made end seems like to me versus God's judgment. What's the same difference? Uh, well, the end is here because certain things are allowed. You know. Yes. So it's true. Some things are allowed. It ain't got nothing to do with the medical either. Soon as Travis opened his mouth, Massa like, "Nah, you not riding on me today." Travis hold Duke down. <laughs> And I ran. I ran to the bunnies party. And I'm... <laughs> Joe, what are you talking said, about? what? Joe, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm letting him read right quick. Joe is talking... <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. Moscow to regard strikes at Donbass liberated territories as attack on Russia. So, they're letting you know that if you attack these new lands... Is that Negro trying to do a Bible... Uh, change a Bible verse? I think so. <laughs> I think he was. But uh, he's saying if you attack those lands that are having a referendum vote right now and they vote to be a part of Russia, that will be an attack on Russia directly. So they got to uh, see what happens with that. All right. Putin blasts U.S. attempt to preserve global domination. Well, it's not just the U.S. It's really the fall of the that West in like general. propaganda huh? article. Putin blasts his U.S. attempt to preserve global domination. Well, he did. He's saying that uh, they want to be the world police. And they have no more authority to be well, that. Well, you're not going to be the world police. China said they're going to be the world. But y'all want to. Yeah, they, that's our cousins. That's their cousins. Magog and Gog. Huh? I call them Magog and Gog. Nah, that ain't who that is. Well, we disagree on certain things. <laughs> <laughs> we disagree on certain things. Exclusive. NATO chief calls Putin's nuclear threat a dangerous escalation. So, that, you know, uh, the U.S. media is framing, framing it as Putin is threatening U- Ukraine in the West, but really it's, you know, him reacting to stuff they're doing. Allegedly. Don't get us, don't cut us off. Of Sounds it. like you're a, 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 a Russian apologist. apologist. That's what I was about to say. Well, you know who is an you apologist? Know. President Biden. President Biden pledges $2.9 billion in food security aid amid Ukraine war. Well, are we, are we going to have a food security aid when shit the fan for us here? Jackson ain't got water. I think just got Flint water. still ain't got no damn water. Texas, there's places in Texas, New Jersey, Alabama. There's a lot of places. sewage. Yeah, the sewage system. New York, there's polio in the waste system, and you sending money for food. Once Ukraine. again, yeah. he's being a brethren to his people. We shouldn't expect for him to do anything. He's trying to help big Israel. Liz Trust says she may follow Donald Trump to move Britain's Israel embassy to Jerusalem. They ready. They, they want to build that third. When they build that third temple, shit is done. <laughs> they want to build that third temple. So Bang. go ahead and wrap it up for us. And that's all, folks. The former U.S. president sparked controversy in 2018 when he decided to situate the U.S. embassy in a contested holy city. You Britain is way for obviously the British country is the one who put forth the backward declaration, which gave Palestine to uh, the Jewish people. Um. So they 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 are very pro Zionist in Britain. I mean, I've seen, I listen to these clips when they were talking about the Brexit stuff, and they the British people, the ones who aren't calling themselves Jewish, were very quick to accuse you of being anti-Semitic. So, yeah, anti-Semitic, Semitic yeah. don't even make no sense. It should be <laughs> anti-Shemism, something, not no damn Semitic. I tell them Travis that lost in Seattle taught me everything I know. You can catch him every Saturday on YouTube if you disagree with my bunny. How you? We're not lost in Seattle no more, man. You give him the wrong that? name. We lost in the script, huh? Who's that? George. Oh, what'd he say? He said, I, <laughs> I tell them Trevor said, lost in Seattle taught me everything I know. <laughs> you can catch him every Saturday on YouTube <laughs> if you disagree with my bunny high lifestyle. <laughs> so he's saying, I bring you an audience. <laughs> the Hub also, uh, also in NCI's listens to and stated, Y'all don't agree with on nothing, LOL, and he appreciates your show and diversity of thoughts. Oh, thank you very much. Who is that? I don't know. <laughs> what you mean, uh, uh, um, Regina? Oh. What the hell is this? Okay. Do we involve in no illegal activity, are you? No. I'm not a criminal. What? I'm not a criminal. It's in your bloodline. 
Go ahead and say it. Side. I know what you want to say. Say it. On your mother's side. Would you dare? On your mother's side. Your mother. Your mother. Your mother. <laughs> New your baby father. Your b- <laughs> yeah, when they say your baby father. <laughs> your baby mother. Your baby mother. At New York. That's a funny, that your funny baby New York came up and we're talking like New Yorkers. <laughs> Go tell your baby four of them. New York AG <coughs> Letitia James files Letitia. Mass- huh? Letitia. Yeah, Letitia James files massive lawsuit, fraud lawsuit against Trump, his business, and three eldest children. You know, Trump says she racist. <laughs> she is racist for going after that man because he's a white man. Trump said she racist. She's racist. New York Attorney General uh, Letitia James office sued Trump, his children, his businesses. Trump falsely inflated his net worth by billions of dollars to further enrich himself and cheat the system. James is seeking to permanently bar the Trumps from conducting business in New York and pursuing a $250 million in uh, penalties. New York Attorney General filed a sweeping civil suit against Wednesday against President, former President Donald Trump, his business, and his uh, three other children. James is seeking to permanently bar the Trumps from conducting business in New York and pursuing $250 million in pen- penalties. The State Attorney General's office is also seeking the appointment of an independent monitor uh, to oversee compliance, financial reporting, valuations, and disclosures. To uh to uh, one lenders and insurers and tax authorities at the Trump Organization. This has been something they've been talking about for like four years, though. And I'm tired of talking about that it. That he was lying about how much money he was worth and he was getting through tax breaks and all that stuff. Uh, at the news conference, New York attorney da 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 said Trump falsely inflated his net worth and repeatedly and person uh, persistently manipulated the value of assets to induce banks to lend money to the Trump Organization. Isn't it when they saying he was dealing with the uh the Switzerland bank? And that came out to be false. Oh, he was inflating his money. He was getting he was getting money lended to him from uh, what's that bank? Start with an S. It don't matter. The he bank, was getting money leaked from him from where? He was getting money lend lend it to him from a company that's from a bank, bank in uh, Switzerland, or was that France? Either way, they're saying he was lying about his net worth so he can get money lended to him. So this is old. Well, hell, everybody do that. Yeah, this is old. So I'm wondering why they just now waiting. Oh, they just, they waited. It's called faking it until you make it. They waited until they uh, needed this, I guess. Uh, White House slams Texas and Florida governor for a cruel migrant transport, transport stunt. Oh, you tell me. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Florida governor files migrants, uh, flies migrants to wealthy Martha's Vineyard. Uh, Texas governor transports dozens of to Washington, D.C., the Republican governors are accused of using migrants as political pawns ahead of a midterm election in November. So the Martha Vin- Martha's Vineyard immigrants, they are now ha- they have a lawyer. <laughs> How you get a lawyer and you not from this country? I mean, you can get a lawyer, but you're an immigrant. You shouldn't even be here. You're not legally supposed to be here. So how the hell you get a lawyer? They are suing. I- suing for what? Emotional stress? Emotional? Bruh. Y'all ain't got a pot to piss in. So the White House is now saying, oh, this is um, this is messed up what y'all doing. But I'm like, wait, the White House admitted that they are flying migrants in at 12 o'clock at night on the planes. Throughout the the country. Eye. They admitted this. But what's the difference between the Texas and Florida people doing it? So they're not going where you want them to go? Yeah, and they're not uh, Democrats. They're Republicans. They're saying we're doing it because we're trying to help, help them. them. You're you guys it. are being malicious and, and just dropping them off anywhere trying to get back at the Democratic Party. That's what they're doing. Or they've been telling you we don't want these people in our state. So you're going to let them in, so we're going to send them to your state.